Hi, I'm Alistair Eckersall. I'm the property manager here at uh, Ben Lomond for the National Trust for Scotland. And we've had the trailblazers here this uh, last week giving us uh, help on the bogs, amongst other things, the blanket bogs. Uh, we got some funding from the National Parks Natural Heritage Grant Scheme back in 2009 to work over a sort of 30 hectare area on the peat bogs where drains have been dug in the 1950s. Uh, badly affecting the whole nature of the, the blanket bog habitat, sort of draining the water level away. In 2009 we went in and we built lots of dams out of peat to raise the water level again. Uh, most of those dams worked really well, some of them didn't. Um, we've had some really valuable help this week from all the, the young folks giving us a hand on uh, just doing repair work on some of those dams that didn't work so well, fixing them up so it's lifting the water levels in uh, those last remaining areas of bog and uh, bringing that blanket bog back into great condition again for insect life and uh, all the other wildlife that lives there. I uh, found it on the internet. I needed something that fit my DV. I looked up um, some of the videos beforehand and I looked at the sort of thing that would um, well interest me really. I've not been away this summer so I just needed to get out of the house and not be stuck in Edinburgh. I wanted to do something for DV Residential that I'd remember, that I thought would be good fun and that would make a mark and actually change something. My piano teacher told me about this organisation and when I was looking for something to do in the holidays and I preferred to visit the UK, I thought about this again and now I'm here. Uh, so on the first two days we went up to the peat bogs, um, up there somewhere, <laughs> and the weather was quite bad but um, we uh, struck battled through it. <laughs> when I was packing my stuff and I knew I was going to Scotland, I thought, yeah, maybe I should take something with me that will protect me against the rain, but I was not expecting this at all. <laughs> weather has been awful. Um, this is the first sunny day and it's the last day. Apart from the second day, which was quite nice. The weather did lower morale slightly. I knew it would be tough weather, but I didn't expect it to be this constant rain and how it would feel like to really do hard work in the rain. So much water everywhere that everything kind of turned a bit muddy and we all get quite dirty. Basically, we've just been working in fog mist, rain, the cold. When we were all working together we managed to uh, stay happy, <laughs> work through it um, and made some good waterproofs to <laughs> make it a bit easier. <laughs> right. It's really dry now and that's why it's getting stuck. Right. That's seven. Yes! <laughs> Doing work that I consider as hard and having weather that I consider as hard, this just together added something that afterwards I felt even more proud of doing something. And even though rain is not the nicest weather for a summer holiday, it's still kind of part of being here in Scotland, being here in Ben Lomond. And I actually kind of enjoy enjoy it. And just the mood and being up there in the mist and yeah, I really enjoyed that apart from being wet. <laughs> yeah, it was quite fun. Being dirty and wet. It's not been great but you know, it's Scotland, it's not going to get any better than that, or any worse. We've been doing bog restoration. Where we fixed the dams that were there. Um, and reduced the um, amount of carbon being released into the atmosphere. In here guys, you're looking for a skinny bit in there. You need to compact that. Cut skinny bit. What I think you could do, gentlemen, is just do that. Then you've got the, the perfect bit. And then it just needs compressed in there. Can I uh, put this block uh, here? But for it's got potential. In there, man. Oh. Ah. <laughs> yeah. 
if we do one level, you know, so as one side meets the other side, and then we can walk on it. Because um, if we if we walk on this at the moment, then that just all turns to mush. But if that's built up in blocks, then you know it will jam up against something. Yeah. At the moment, there's nothing for that to jam up against. So yeah. So that's the, the kind of fine, finer points of uh, dam building. When I was in the bog, I spent most of my time in the water like, digging out bits of peat to use as a dam to keep the water from flowing down, keep it in one place, allow the plants to grow. What we want from this is a nice solid block, if that's what we want to go in. <laughs> we all got on really well and uh, Works as a good team to get um, the job done, and we uh, made good progress over the two days. We're looking to create a, a slope. Um, so yeah, just knocking this out. We also did path restoration, which was widening the path a little bit and making sure that um, it was accessible for the public. To try and stop people straying off the path to keep the environment, keep the bits to the side of it preserved and to allow plants to grow. It's really hard going up and down the hill. Hardest part has been walking up and down the hill to the site, definitely. Um, it's really steep. I think you need to be relatively fit. I've definitely got a lot more fitter. Just the strength you need to like go up and down the hills in that rain and in that wind. Like it's a lot more different if it's in the sun. Like it doesn't really matter if you are unfit to, to a degree because you can just take it at your own pace. My legs worked a lot more in the rain trying to get through all the puddles and the water rushing down towards you. You need to think about if you're going to have the ment mental capabilities of actually going for it. It's a real struggle but on the third time going up the hill you got used to it and you're just, you didn't, you definitely don't struggle as much on the third time but it's still a lot of work but it gets your fitness up as well which is really good. Yeah, my fitness has improved, I've been a lot more aware of my body. Yeah and I think if it wouldn't have been this kind of weather it wouldn't have been such a nice feeling coming back home and finally getting all your wet clothes off and having a nice hot shower. The showers are amazing. Like, gen like if you think about it, the showers are actually not that great because they're quite weak. But like, just ha just getting into a hot shower and then getting clean clothes on is like the best feeling after being up in the hills and like shivering. The the house is lovely. Uh Nice and spacious, uh, a lot of, um, lot of, uh, yeah, well, a lot of space for everyone to, so we're all together, but there's enough space to have your own time on your own if you want to. And uh, the, ki the f kitchen faci facilities are really good, so we all uh, jumped in and helped uh, with all the food. John Year Award has been enjoyable because it's added, like, finding out about plants and different species and the ecology to it, and that's something that's quite interesting. I feel, like knowing how everything works together and all the plants and animals cohabit. We obviously did a lot of exploration around uh, Ben Lomond and the surrounding area. We did kata canoeing, which was like two ca kayaks like stuck together, and then we did archery, which was good, and then we did mountain biking. It was fun, like, it was a nice place to go do mountain biking or just to have like a really nice walk. 
but the weather was awful again, it rained the whole time. Went swimming in Loch Lomond one evening, that was quite fun. The swimming in Loch Lomond is freezing, but it is really good, it's really refreshing as well, like after a long day of just working, then to get just go out and have a swim is really nice. You discover a lot about yourself while doing, or discovering a lot of the wildlife around you. Another thing that I wasn't really expecting that it would be so much about learning about nature and just feel the pureness of something untouched and I really enjoy things like that. I like photography to like having a proper memory of something but being able to see it and seeing how see it like in a different way from how I see it. Um, I thought the knowledge of all the staff I was with was really useful. Um, at uh, any point I felt comfortable just to ask any member of staff about the surrounding area, um, whether that be like the plants or um, the techniques we were using to um, do the jobs. Um, I found that really helpful. Fraser and Alistair are awesome. You sit and have like, you, like you're coming down the hill and you're just having amazing conversations with them. I found this, uh, what we did really interesting. Um, I'll tell all my friends about it. It's really good fun, you'll have a good time. And You'll do a lot of work and gain new skills and it'll be really interesting if that's what you're into, you're into plants and nature and helping things and conserving and all that. It is really good. Do it if you if you are interested in it. If you I think if you really have the motivation to go up a hill and in the rain and work, then you will enjoy it no matter how physically fit you are and if you have the motivation and you are keen to do it then I think that anyone would enjoy that. Yeah definitely do it. If you're, if you're nervous about meeting new people um, it really doesn't, um, it's, it's really easy like on the bus there we all get to all talk and get to know each other and then um, by the night time we're all really comfortable being with each other and uh, yeah. It's a lot of hard work and if someone was to come to me and say, yeah, it's just a little walk or like completely sugarcoat it, I'd be like in my room crying right now. Like I'm glad no one no one sugarcoated it. But um, you know, it's it's hard work and it but it's worth it. Like by the end, by the last day it's completely worth it. Down to even this sort of size, you will still get something very thin, but uh, you will still get something. Please don't do some more. Spin on the spinning. Good for me. Good for me. Good for me. 